Hello and welcome to Bob and Talk. In this video, we will talk about customization of avatars and more specifically how you can add makeup, tattoos, and any kind of skin decorations on your avatar. Once you have an avatar, you know that you can left click on the avatar and then take a look in the property editor and see here under body styling. If this is not open, make sure that you left click so it opens up. You have skin styles. I currently have the Camilla avatar open. And if I left click here on the drop down menu, I can see that I can also pull down a different avatar and that will completely change which avatar do I have working with me right now. So I'm gonna switch back to Camilla. And I also see here that if I have this style configuration little icon here, you can left click on that. And you have a pop-up window that gives you all of the style configurations. That means that you have choices here for hair, skin, underwear, eyebrows, and lips. For each one of these, you can left click on a color and then see how the hair, for example, will change into a different color. The skin tone can be changed for the full avatar. Once we change the skin, then we would have to go back and change the eyebrows or select the color for the eyebrows. I'm going to go for the darker ones. Underwear, we can also change the color depending on what you have here. You can choose something that is more of a nude color. You have this olive blue here. You can also left click on that chip and select your own color depending on what you want to have. So you could match the skin tone perfectly. For the eyebrows, again, you can choose a different color here and you can see how the color changes immediately in the 3D window. And you also have a choice here. You can left click once here and choose maybe something completely different, like a bright color, for example. So that's a really personalized choice here. You do have a choice of adding a bit of color from this selection here. And again, you can also left click on custom color and you can select a color of your choice. So let's say I want this a brighter orange color and that will completely change her lips to what you like it. On the right side here, we have all of these drop down menus. Each one gives you a completely different look in terms of what kind of light you choose. So let's see, for example, what vivid light would give you. And you can see that that changed the light for this particular section. So that was for the hair. So let's take a look at the skin light. I'm going to give it a soft light and you can see that we have a bit more shadows. They appeared here under eyes and around her neck. For eyebrows, I'm going to give it a bit of, let's see, glow. And you can see that they got a bit brighter, more brilliant in a way. Lips, we have hard light, so they're very, very bright. Let's see color burn, for example, and you can see how the color completely changed into this darker shade. Soft light will make them really more nude looking. Let's say normal will make them as close as possible to the actual color. Once you're happy with all of these choices, you can click OK. And this is as far as this is going to take you. Now, that did not give us the opportunity to add any kind of custom makeup, tattoos or anything else. In order to do that, you would have to bring the skin of that particular avatar into Photoshop. So let's say that I want to add something to her face specifically. I will left click on her face make sure they have the property editor open and then scroll down until I see basic parameters, texture, and you can see here that her skin is selected. So I'm going to left double click on that and that will open the specific file where for this avatar, this particular skin lays. And you can see that it's in folder 1100 and that's my face. Do not change this particular file. Make sure you make a copy, make the changes that you like, and then come back and create that and replace that with your new makeup. There are a couple of different things you can do here. First of all, you could just grab and bring this file into Photoshop and open it in Photoshop, work on it there and save it as a different name and then save it back into this folder. You could also duplicate this folder and then bring all of your new designs in there or you could create a folder of your own somewhere either in your documents, desktop, wherever you like and then save all of your files there under your own organization. Either way, you need to remember where those makeup files are. So let's add some makeup and or tattoos to our avatar. 
Select the face, for example, if you want to add makeup to the face. Make sure the property editor is open. Come down to basic parameters, texture, and come down to the face image here. Left double click on the four squares and that will open up the file. I'm going to right click and duplicate this file and I'm going to work on this duplicate copy. So I'm just going to drag it and drop it in Photoshop. Now I have the face open. I can zoom in and start adding makeup however I like. I like a lot of strong bold color and bright colorful shapes so I'll add something like this to my avatar. Bring your opacity to a much lower number so come up here on top bring the opacity maybe below 20 and you can test on the skin to see what it looks like so you can get the intensity that you like. I'm gonna bring mine down to 18 and you can see how much of that color is actually applied and how much of the features do you actually see. Play around with the size of the brush until you get exactly what you want and then start applying your makeup. And when you're happy with the results, just save the file and bring it to your avatar. Then come back to your avatar in Clo. Left click on the face, search by clicking on the four little squares and then pull up the one that you just created or pull up from your library, whatever you have. That will bring the avatar with the new makeup and you will have a brand new face makeup on your avatar. Now I also want to change a lipstick for her so I'm going to left click on her and then go to see what my options are for her face. If you want to make more changes to her face, add more makeup, you can locate where this file is again. Come back to the textures and the basic parameters. Left click again on the four little squares to have the search and open up the same exact face file. And again, bring it back to Photoshop and do any changes that you would like in there. You could work with any software that will allow you to create these changes. I just want to have more of orange lips. So I'm going to work again with my brush here and I'm gonna find the orange color that I like and then create a brighter color lip. I wanna keep the same exact file, so I'm just gonna say over that particular file and come back to Clo to see what that looks like. I'm happy with that and I've applied it to my avatar and now I have a slightly more orange lips. You can adjust the shades and whatever you like as much as you like until you get the perfect avatar makeup that you like. If I would like to add a tattoo to her body, just select the part of the body wherever you want to add the tattoo. I would like to work with the torso, so I'm going to left click on that. Come to property editor, go to texture, left double click on the four little squares. That will take you to the body map. I would duplicate that file, create a second one and then open that file in Photoshop. So I have this already open here in Photoshop. Once you have that file in Photoshop or whatever imaging software you're editing, you can just drag and drop a file that you want. For example, I want this file on top. Make sure that that's a PNG file if there's any kind of a background on it. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and I'm going to place it all around her neck. I'm going to stretch it a little bit and I'm going to place it just around her neckline right here. Once you're happy with that, just save the file and you can rename it or just leave it as the copy. I want to flatten this before I save it. So I'm going to come to layer, flatten. So this is just one image and then I'm going to save it as it is. Now I can come back to Clo, select the body part that I just modified, go back to texture, exactly in the folder wherever you save that and here that's my body map copy so i'm going to click on open and apply that and i have a very subtle more of a body painting that works really well with my makeup and that's how you would add 
any kind of body modifications in terms of painting, tattoo, makeup, any kind of colors to your avatars and customize them that way. Check out my Patreon website, see if you would like to meet up live over the weekends. And thank you for subscribing to Bob and Talk, watching the videos. I'll see you for the next video.